right, so let's continue talking about milestones and awards. Um, this time I'm gonna talk about one of the, well, it's not new, but one of the fan-made maps, uh, Vastitas Borealis, and the, the, basically the version that was released eventually by Firex Games, and the version that's going to be available uh, on the new expansion uh, in uh, neoprene and cardboard. Um, so I, I think this might eventually even come to Steam and it's gonna become a, a it's nice to have view maps, right? Uh, I think the milestones and awards are probably also coming to Steam, so I thought I'd start on the milestones for it. And since these aren't so popular, I'll just quickly describe what it is because I mean it's probably pretty clear, but uh, yeah. Uh, Agronomist is for plant tags, Spacefarer is five space tags. Geologist, now I think this is the only one that's confusing because even the description in Board Game Geek, uh, it's, a, it's a, bit of a weird sentence, but I think this means four tiles on or adjacent to volcanic areas. Um, it's possible that it's only adjacent, but there is an and or in the description. Uh, and it's not possible that it's only on because there's only four and that would make this milestone basically impossible to get because it's, you know, someone just claims a, another one and then you can't get it, right? So I think it's on or adjacent to volcanic areas. If it's not, please correct me and I'll do, make an amendment on the video probably. Uh, then engineer, that's uh, 10 energy and heat resources combined. And finally farmer, six microbe or animal resources combined. Um, so yeah, let's quickly go over the categories, which um, it's the same ones that I use for Tharsis, Elysium, and Hellas. And so the generation, I basically say what's the earliest it can usually be claimed, and uh, what's sort of the average when I see it get claimed. Volatility is how fast, like if you if you feel like you're strongly in the lead for a milestone, how fast can someone like rush it and take it from you? Um, deviation is uh, how much you have to play cards that you wouldn't play or that don't really align with your strategy or that may be bad cards in, all, in order to claim that milestone. Block ability is what can other players do to prevent you from uh, claiming it when you're close to it. Um, and then corps are just corporations that have an advantage on it. The caps are basically what factors cap your ability to do it faster. And the alignment is what general strategies each uh, milestone aligns to. But anyway, let's begin. Let's start with uh, Granomist. And so, for plant text, you'll notice this is quite similar to Ecologist, but probably a lot harder, right? Because now you just don't get uh, credit for two of the other tags. However, plant tags were probably the, the, you know, the main component of that, so I think you can still get a Gen 2 reasonably, like with some prelude help, or if you're one of the corporations that have a plant tag or a wild tag, uh, like Ecoline or, or Septon Tribos. Um, but more realistically, you're probably going to get there 4 or 5. Um, now it's much harder to take it away from you because only plant tags help. Uh, but yeah, with help from builds and the corporation, you might get something like Arctic Algae, and then you know you just need a little one more to get there. So I think earliest is two, but more reasonably four or five. Uh, space fair. So I mean, space tags are there are a lot more space tags than there are plant tags. It's just that uh, they tend to be more expensive and less helpful earlier. And there's also like probably less corporations and less preludes that get picked with, with the space tech. Actually, there's more corporations, but probably less preludes. Um, and so I think three is the earliest, but the average should still be around four or five. Um, three is reasonably early enough that you don't have to rush a second space card uh, before you want to. So yeah, I think three and then four and five for the average. Now, Geologist... Um, so again, I think three and three and four. Now this is four tiles, and if you think of uh, mayor and ecologist, um, mayor and ecologist, uh, sorry, mayor and uh, gardener, those are three tiles of the same type. So here you can inst instead got for like one city and three greeneries or two and two. Uh, so it's maybe a little more flexible, and you also have the special tiles, but like you can't do it as fast as those because it is it is an additional tile after all so it's in a, in a way easier in a way harder i think gen 3 is reasonable 
Um, you're also, oh yeah, let's let's look at the map for a second because I want to uh, show where the um, volcanic areas are. Okay, so if we see at the map, there are four volcanic areas. There's one here, Elysium Mons, uh, Hecatis Tolus, Albamons, and Uranus Tolus. And so if it's on or adjacent, it's like they're all on the edge, which means there are five tiles total in each. Um, but these are actually, this whole area from here until here, this all count as adjacent or uh, on a volcanic area. And the same thing goes for all this area right here, right? So it's a pretty big area for both. So getting four tiles there shouldn't be hard. Uh, I think the bonuses on this area are a little better. Um, and then you can uh, move on to an ocean walk right here, which should should be really good. This ocean walk, like these oceans, and then walking through here, uh, you'll get a lot of money and plants back. So uh, yeah, I would I would probably start here um, if I need, for example. So you have the cards, the titanium, and then you can start preparing your ocean walk. But if you need to go to one of these two tiles which don't have a bonus, they're still adjacent to Alba, right? So I think the map is honestly pretty. Uh, like it's not hard to find the spots for the the four volcanic areas, and so um, yeah, I think three is reasonable. Uh, a little, just a little more than mayor or gardener, but the flexibility lets you. Now, engineer, uh, engineer. I think this is the fastest one, and it's uh yeah, ten energy and hit resources is not that much. Like, um, if you get like basically Helion, uh, and then a Heat Prelude, Mohol or Mohol Lake. It'll take two generations and you really don't have to do anything. Uh, if you think about it, um, like, it is not too m much more than your first Heat Step, right? Uh, any energy will convert to Heat anyway, so you're not really losing the energy. Um, and so if, 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 like, you can get your first Heat Step by Gen 2, which is eight resources, you can probably get engineer around there. And I don't think it goes past four, really. Um, this, is, this is probably the easiest to claim. And then farmer, and I think this is one of the hardest to claim because uh, honestly, there are few animal tiles that help you early. Um, I mean, that's pet, there's pets, which comes with one animal, which is really helpful. And then uh, you, if you place a city, you have another one. And then there's Ecological Zone. And uh, actually, Ecological Zone and Viral Enhancers, if you play Viral and then Ecological Zone, that's four. And so that's probably the fastest way to get there. Um, and then if you play pets, you, you have it all. <laughs> you have the whole thing there. Uh, you have seven, actually. But there, there aren't many animal cards that help you. And microbe tags, decomposers would be really helpful, but it, it has a 3% oxygen requirement. Viral enhancers, it's helpful, but not by itself. Um, and so you, you might have to use something like Tardigrades and actually place some microbes on it or, or something like that. Or some of the Venus ones, sulfurating bacteria is probably one of the best ones here because it, it actually lets you stack up on uh, microbes. Um, and then there's of course nitrate reducing bacteria, which by itself, you play Gen 1 and you can be at four. It's just, I mean, this is probably you, you, you're guaranteed Gen 3 if you have this on your starting hand to have 6 and then you know you can gain the TR it's just that this card isn't that strong so uh, but you can definitely get there I, I think before Gen 3 like even with Nitrate it would be Gen 3 um, so I, I think before Gen 3 is hard and more likely 4 and 5 so overall the generation is pretty balanced Engineer is probably the easiest and Farmer is probably the, the hardest one Let's talk about volatility, and let's start with Agronomist. Um, I think it's low. Um, I mean, it's obviously lower than Ecologist, because now there are less tags. It's harder to claim, but like uh, also harder to rush. Uh, and there just aren't that many good plant tags early. Um, and so the way to steal this would be having to play something like Lycan or Adapted Lycan. Um, unless the heat or oceans are rushing, in which case you should claim this as fast as possible because then, you know, you have moss, nitrophilic moss, um, or even things like grass and heather. 
that yeah, are, are decent plant producers and so yeah but if, if you've like you have a two advantage and corpse and priddle are already played which is where you'll get most of your early plant tags uh, and you maybe played Arctic Algae, then I don't expect a lot of other plant tags to be around, so I think low volatility. Um, same thing with Spacefarer, it's just because space tags are so expensive generally. Um, so there are a few cheap ones, so that's why it's not very low, but uh, yeah, if, if you have a, a comfortable lead, you're probably gonna get it, and uh, it's also kind of easy to control with the draft, so yeah, I, I don't think this one's something that's very volatile. Um, so yeah, I went low. Uh, now Geologist, I, I, I think it's high, uh, because it's just styles and you can meet them with standard projects, right? So, <laughs> and, like, you can just go city, greenery, greenery, of course that's super expensive, and then claim the milestone, but more likely you'll see something like, uh, city card, and then industrial zone, and then maybe mining area. And suddenly they placed three tiles and they just need one more standard project to claim it. So Geologist is one that uh, if I have four and someone else has one or two, I would think about claiming earlier. Just because standard projects, I mean, obviously keep keep in mind if that player has enough cash. Uh, and, and especially if they go last each generation and then first the next generation, that's when players can take four straight actions. Um, but yeah, I, I would be careful with this one just because standard products are available for it. Um, and yeah, uh, basically if you're if you're only if, if you're at four and the other player is at one, I would start you know saving keeping money around to claim it if I have to because if they go to two, then you you should. Um, then engineer. Um, Okay, so the, the, there are a lot of hidden and energy cards. The reason this isn't higher is because there are a few that give you the energy that generation or the heat that generation. So there's like optimal air breaking, um, impact or swarm, and which by the way claims it immediately. Uh, it does require two Jovians, which is hard, but uh, and then there's imported GHC, which you know it's pretty cheap and it's going to be three this generation and four on the next one. And so, but other than that, pretty much anything the player does won't matter until the next generation. So you can really keep control on Engineer uh, and just make sure you get it before they produce the next generation. But that's the thing that like, there are a lot of cards that can get you, you know, four energy production, uh, four heat production, or three or four, there's a ton, uh, which is should be make it very volatile. But because you you take the action and then you give the player all the time until the next generation to react, then it, I think it's medium. Um, one thing I will mention though is Manutech. Manutech can like flip this award and, and just unfairly. <laughs> so one more thing Manutech does unfairly well is take an engineer. Um, and so, yeah. I uh, yeah I, I think medium and a minus tech I'm not gonna take that into account just you know a warning that it's it's pretty good at it um, and then farmer I think it's high uh, and the reason is even though it's so hard to claim just there are some cars that that can take it it's like claimed in chunks and so like I mentioned like maybe getting to three can be hard but if you play vital enhancers and eco ecological zone. Uh, then you're already at four, right? So with two cards, they can go from two to six, which is what you need to claim it very fast. Um, and so it's it's a very difficult mile. It's the milestones I would I would count on the least because it's hard to get to, but also the other player might have the exact combo to flip it, right? To to steal it. Um, and so. Um, yeah, that's the thing that is it's like there's few cards, but the ones that it has are very violent in <laughs> taking it and they're also very good cards So yeah farmer, I would say very volatile. There's also a bite to viral vi virus uh, That can easily put like maybe three four early in the game So yeah, sorry back to viral research But yeah, uh, let's move on to deviation and so for ecologist I'm gonna say medium and that's just because some of the early plant decks I've said many times aren't that good 
And so if you have to play Lycan or adapted Lycan to claim this, that's not ideal. Or maybe a very early ecological zone before you play any additional plant tags. Um, but generally, you know, plant production is good. And if you can do it with uh, like moss or nitrophilic moss, then great. Um, it's just those uh, other ones that aren't so great. So uh, yeah, it's, it's medium deviation. Uh, space, same thing. Now space tags are, tend to be really good. They're just... A bit better mid game, I would say. Um, like a lot of them are very expensive, and uh, things like Jovians or you know space elevators, uh, or then you might have to use something like uh, Trans Neptune Probe to claim the last one. Uh, so yeah, I think it's medium. Space tags can be useful, but they're not so useful early. Uh, you also just, I'm gonna say low. Tiles are generally very good early. And if you're placing cities and greeneries, I mean, you might have to place one city earlier than you wanted to. And the other thing, like, if, if you look again at the at the map, like I said, this area is actually great. You can, you can start here, you know, take the card, take the titanium, then take the steel, and then ocean walk your way up here. Uh, and so that's really nice. And you have this nice temperature uh, step here to the South Pole. Uh, or you could just, you know, start here and just ocean walk here, um, and that, all these four tiles would count, right? So there are some very good areas in this map next to volcanic areas where you can both get cards, titanium, and next to oceans with plants. Um, so yeah, I, I think placing volcanic areas in this map is really good. Probably this one is the weakest because there's one steel and nothing in the surroundings and this one only one card and nothing in the surroundings and you're also not close to any oceans except in this tile. But these two tiles down here are just great places to play in so I would say deviation is low. Uh, moving on to engineer, uh, I'm gonna say very low uh, because all you have to do is like wait a turn to claim uh, to, to raise your uh, the temperature. Uh, because if you're at eight, like if you are basically at eight or nine heat, then you wait one and your production is probably gonna get you to ten, right? Uh, if you if you are at ten or higher, then uh, you just you can claim it and then take your temperature step. So like you say you're producing you know five uh, heat, uh, and then you produce five, you have five, and then you produce a second five, and you're already there. So only if you happen to land or on eight or nine heat resources, you have to weigh something, and if you have no energy resources. And, you know, getting to 10 uh, heat resources early is good. A production between 5 and 10 for heat is usually fine, um, as long as you don't do it with uh, Solera. Uh, but yeah, I, I think this is very low, you just have to maybe wait a turn, which means you essentially wasted one cache, right? So that's that's your whole deviation. Not raising the temperature, waiting one turn to one generation to raise the temperature loses you one cache. You still get your same victory point and you'll lose one production basically. Um, one generation of, of one production. So deviation is very low. You have to go for heat and then wait until you get to 10 instead of 8. And if you have energy you might get there quickly. Quicker, right? So yeah, and then finally farmer again. I would say hi. Like I said, there are very few cards that get you microbes and animals. Uh, there are basically very few early animals, only pets and eco zone, um, and both of them. Uh, like you can usually wait a little to play them, um, especially eco zone. Like you should only play eco zone right before your next plant tag, right? So. Uh, if you have to play this just to get the two resources and then you'll wait a bunch until uh, you, you actually get the next plant tag there, then it's 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 played earlier than it should. And microbes, there are a few early ones, but they're not good. Um, so, you know, tardigrades or uh, the, the, the ones that raise the VHG producing bacteria, for example, I don't love those. So... Uh, and then there's extreme cold fungus, but it still needs a target. So I, yeah, microbes are kind of weak, so I, I would say hi. Now let's talk about block ability. Uh, and so for agronomist, this is pretty high because, like, if you see the player sitting at three, uh, it's it's quite easy to block every plant that you see. Um, and if you see them sitting at two, then you probably like you should focus on that basically. Um, and, and you're doing something good in taking the plant tags away from that player anyway, so 
Yeah, I think agronomics is fairly easy to block. Uh, same thing for spacefarer, only medium, uh, because there are more space stacks, so there's just a higher chance that they see the first one in their draft, or that you actually see two space stacks in your hand and you can block one but not the other. So uh, that happens a lot less with plants, it can still happen, that's why it's not very high, but yeah, spacefarer is the same thing. Tags are generally easy to block, um, it's just the more the more they are, the harder it is, right? So that's why space fair is a bit harder to block. Uh, Geologist is slow. Again, you can just you can take the tiles, but they still have standard projects, uh, and it's gonna be more expensive. But you know, it it might just be that the standard project is fine and they do it. So it's pretty low. You can you can take the cheaper ones. Uh, you can you know blow up their plants. You can take some space, uh, like place some cities to block them. So it's not very low. But they can just stand their project on another one, and if, if they want to claim it, they will. They will. Uh, engineer is very low. Basically, once the production is there, there's nothing you can do about it. Really, there's, uh, there's a few cards that take energy from you, but one energy, and it's going to take two turns to reflect itself in the result. And then there's one, I think, heat trappers that takes heat. Uh, there's nothing that kills heat resources or energy resources, so... Once they get, like, if, if you see them get to, like, 4 hit production in the first generation, they'll be there in, you know, Gen 3 probably. Uh, they just need a couple of energy production, that's it. Um, so there's very little you can do to block this. And finally, Farmer, I think it's low. Uh, the cards that steal and, uh, like, ants and predators don't come in early. Uh, virus is probably the best one, but that kills animals, not microbes. Um... And so it only kills two, and you probably want to use it on a one point animal anyway, which is not what they'll have early. And again, much like production, once they get a card that actually produces microbes every turn, like Tyregrace or Stream Crawl Fungus, there's not much you can do to stop it. You can you can prevent, you can block other cards in the draft, like imported nitrogen or imported hydrogen from getting there faster, but you're still on a timer once they get started on their path, right? So. Um, yeah, I would say farmer is is harder to block if they if they have the the way to get there, but they probably will. Okay, let's talk about what corporations I think uh, have an advantage on each, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go in order from like the best corporation from the milestone to the, I mean, still good but least good, right, of of that group. So let's start with uh, agronomist. You think I start with a plant tech, but I'm actually gonna start with septum tribus, which might as well have a plant tech because it has a wild tech and wild tech count as plant tech basically and so now you're not forced to go to plants with septum it's it's very versatile but you can and if you get the same hand with ecoline and septum because septum has the better economy i think they can get there faster uh ecoline will place more greeneries because they have the production on the plants but who can get four plant tags faster? That's Septum, because they start with the same amount, and they, they'll have a better economy to play like more plant tags faster, right? So that's actually the best card for Agronomist, is Septum, another broken corporation. After that, Ecoline uh, and Aphrodite. Um, now, I think Ecoline, even though it has the worst economy, should still be ahead, just because you probably, I mean, first of all, Aphrodite sucks, uh, but also, like, Ecoline is better at leaning, at playing plant cards. It's more significant for them because they have a better plant game, right? Um, Aphrodite has 11 more cash, but it only starts with one plant production. And I I mean, to be honest, I've never played Aphrodite. The, I, it, I, I'm not sure if I, I... There's a few of the promos that I haven't played, but of corporations that are as old as Preludes, Venus, and the base, Aphrodite is the only one I've never played. Uh, because I hate it, and yeah, I don't think it's that strong for agronomists. I think it's it's better off going for Venus, but it's probably you're probably gonna lose anyway. So why claim the milestone even, right? Uh, but let's talk about space fur. Um, and Fobolog is obviously number one here. It's not number one on a lot of things, but it is number one. It, is, it starts with a space deck, and it starts with ten titanium. That's worth a total of forty. To play in space decks and basically if you don't have a bunch of space decks you don't play Fobolog so I mean 40 cash plus your original space deck probably lets you play two or three more so you, you need one more uh, and you like I said if you pick Fobolog you probably have at least two space decks in your hand that you can play early 
Uh, after that point, Luna, and again, starts with a space deck, starts with Titanium Production, which makes it easier to play, and also draws additional cards. So it just sees more cards, therefore it sees more space decks probably, and it has a way to play, a, a way to pay for them, and a starting one. So I think that's number two. Number three, I'm gonna say Astro Drill again, space deck. They start with uh, like they can get nine titanium in the first three generations, so it's less than full block, but their economy is a little better, so they can buy more cards. Uh, and after that, they'll uh, probably, they'll eventually pass full block on production, because after that they produce 3 titanium every other turn, unless you get an asteroid card, uh, and that's the other thing, asteroid cards tend to be space tags. Uh, and so, yeah, Astrodeal number 3. After that, Polyphemus. Now, Polyphemus doesn't start with attack, but it does start with 5 titanium and insane economy, which allows it to play more space tags faster. Um, and so their, their economy early is one of the strongest, uh, and you can actually buy very few cards, all your space decks, uh, like that goes right into your strategy. Buy very few expensive cards, uh, and by the way, I did a video on this on how to play Polyphemus recently, um, up there if you want to watch it. But yeah, uh, buying, few very exp buying few very expensive space decks goes right with their strategy, so yeah, Polyphemus number... Four. Then Septum starts with a wild tag, uh, so a space tag, and their economy is going to be really good. It just takes a little more to get going than Polyphemus, that's why you ranked it a little lower despite the tag, because your first generation you're probably just going to place uh, delegates, and then on your second you're already like making really nice cash, so uh, you'll get there. Then Saturn Systems, um, now you don't have the space tag, but you do have Titanium Production, um, and you're incentivized to play uh, a lot of uh, space decks basically because there a lot of jogans are space decks so yeah and then finally helion it starts with a space deck there are a few hit cards that have a space deck although a few of them are events uh but yeah just this time space deck i think is, is a small advantage for helion but at that point you're almost like the same as every other core uh, okay, now, Geologists. So, first off, Acadian Communities, and Acadian Communities is just a pain in the ass <laughs> to play on the ground with. They can block you, they can just guarantee that they'll get those spaces next to the tiles, and then they can place the tiles for cheaper, because they'll be picking up three uh, cash every time they pick up one of their markers, right? So, Acadian Communities, I think, is the best one to reserve space around your volcanic area, and you're also getting a little discount. Uh, Tharsis obviously starts with a tile, um, it's gonna be a CD, and then they prevent other players from playing CDs, and, you know, they, they can place them for cheaper, they can actually build economy with CDs, which few other companies can, so yeah, Tharsis. Uh, and finally, Filaris, uh, and Filaris is just, again, really annoying, if someone starts going for Geologist and Filaris gets in there, much like a game community, it's just a pain in the ass. They'll block you and they'll pick up resources while doing it, and then you don't want to play next to them because they'll, you know, you don't want to give them resources every time you create an adjacency. So, uh, yeah, these are basically the three annoying ground corporations, the ones that are really good at just getting in your way, uh, and they're basically all great. They they all have a tile, or in the case of game community, they don't start with a tile, but they just, you know, they, they can block better than anyone. So, those are the three best for geologists. Uh, for Engineer, I think obviously the strongest one is Helion. Um, they start with 3 hit production, right? So, uh, just <laughs> like one preload, like Moho, uh, might be enough to get them to 6 to, to 9 in Gen 2, right? Uh, so, no one can really get faster than them. Uh, like, really, you just need a preload and you're basically gonna get, get there by Gen 3 almost guaranteed. Uh, then Stormcraft, Stormcraft produces two, but with, you know, a few help from floaters, that production can be a lot more quicker. Um, then Manutech, and Manutech is what I mentioned, like, they, like, if Manutech plays small whole area, Gen 1, they're at 8 on Gen 2, right? And then they can just play an energy card that generation, and they, they got it. Uh, so because they just basically produce one run early, anything that's center their own resources, Magnetech is just going to be great at it. They just don't have the necessarily standard value, but like if Magnetech plays Moho, they'll be at 9 in Gen 2. So <laughs> it's, it's cheating. Um, 
Uh, okay, then Thorgate. Okay, Thorgate. They they have to discount on energy. The energy it turns into heat anyway, so it's like it doesn't matter that it's energy really. Uh, it's um, and they start with one, and they can get energy for really cheap. So you know, I guess so. Then and then Robinson, uh, Robinson can get probably two or three bumps of their energy and heat in the first three generations, which is a little help. And then Factorum, Factorum can get a free energy, Gen One, and then but again, Factorum much like you know Helion in the Spacefarer, this is barely uh, better than your average corp, right? Uh, you might get one or two free heat uh, energy bumps, basically. Um, finally, for Farmer, okay, so I think the best one is Recyclon. Uh, it's it, it can generate microbes with I mean it starts with a microbe and it can generate them with steel tags which are actually very good and there's a lot of them early well there's I mean there's a lot of them in the whole game but they are very good early uh, and so they have just I mean they start with one and they have a way to generate them with cards that have nothing to do with microbes so best one for farmers definitely recycle one uh, then Viron. Uh, and if, if you get uh, something like Targrades Gen 1 with Byron, you are you have Farmer by Gen 3. So just because of, even though you probably want to use Byron on something much better than Targrades, but if you need to rush a milestone, Byron is really good for it. Um, now there aren't any animal cards that tap earlier, which is bad, but there are a few decent microbe ones uh, in Venus, like again, Sulfurating Bacteria. Um, well, that one's actually really good with fire, and you just need a, a few uh, Venus steps to be able to play it. Uh, then Arc Light. So Arc Light also starts with one, uh, but if you get any plant or uh, animal preludes, then you'll, you you can start basically at two or three, and then a few more plant tags. Like you you get there about the same time as you get to Agronomist, right? You're basically guaranteed to be at five if you play four plant tags because you start with your one. Uh, and if you played one animal tag, then you'll get there as fast as you get to Agronomist. And uh, finally, Splice. Uh, so Splice also gets an additional... Uh, I mean, first of all, you draw a microbe tag, but you also get an additional resource every time you play a microbe tag. So if you play Triagrades, you're already at two. And then maybe you play something like sim Symbiotic fun Fungus, or no, that no, no, one comes in play. Extreme Cold Fungus. That puts you at three, and, and you'll be there pretty soon, right? So. Yeah, supplies and also get a discount basically for playing them. Um, so yeah, and you draw one. So yeah, supplies also pretty good for farmer. Uh, okay, let's go about the caps for each one. So obviously, uh, agronomist is capped just by cards. The number of cards you see are what determines what the number of plant tags you see, right? Uh, the more cards you see, the more chance you have to to get this. Same thing for space, but because space tags are also kind of expensive, I say it's cards and money. Like many times you'll see the space tag and you just go, okay, I don't have enough money to play this generation. And, and so uh, it's a, a small second cap on it. Then uh, geology. So geology is capped by spaces on the board, right? So uh, if people start just placing cities and blocking you, they, that, that's a way that you may run out of things. That's what caps it. But it's also capped by cards because uh, cards ultimately play... Uh, cheaper tiles and cheaper cities, so that's really what determines whether or not you can play Geologist. Um, engineer by generations first, because usually you just get your production and then you just have to wait a number of gens until you get to 10. Uh, but then to a lesser extent by cards, because cards are what help you get that production if your corporation doesn't have uh, a starting heat or energy. Uh, the main thing, like, you, you, you know Usually, okay, I can get engineered by Gen 4 for sure, right? Or Gen 3 for sure, which is not something that happens with Agronomist or Spacefarer, where you may have, you know, three tags, but not sure if you're ever going to see that fourth one. You're really capped by the cards. This one's more capped by the gems. Uh, and finally, Farmer, the same but opposite, uh, because if you have a microbe that, you know, taps every generation like Tardigrades, you can be, uh, okay, I'll be there by Gen 6 because I just played Tardigrades. But really, you're expecting to see a card that helps you um, claim it before that. Or like if you play pets, you hope the people play some cities. So it's more cards, but also the generations, because you, every generation you can keep buying microbes or animals, then that's good, right? 
finally the alignment, so I would say Agronomist is pretty strictly going for a ground rush game, like to get fourth plant attacks early, if they're good then that's what you should do, and if they're bad then you probably don't have a lot of money to play cities anyway, so it's really like ground rush uh, if you claim this earlier. Uh, Spacefarer, you're probably going for an engine game. Um, either a very hard mega credit and titanium game or just a Jovian uh, strategy. Uh, Geologist, I would say a ground game more city focused. Um, because again, if we look at the map, you can sort of ocean walk after you place the initial ones, unless you go for this area here. Um, but otherwise, you can go here and then ocean walk later. But for the most part, uh, I, I think you do need a city here early to like protect these greeneries and then ocean walk, or city here and then ocean walk here, right? Uh, but I would recommend a more cities game, and that way also it's harder for people to block you with their own cities if you place your own city, right? So I would say round cities. Um, then uh, engineer is obviously a heat energy game, not, not much to say there. And farmer. Uh, I would say a ground rush game with something like ecological zone is good with it, but you're probably more on a mi like a bit longer micro animal game, so you you would like not rush in order to play pets or play uh, things like uh, tire grace or decomposers or extreme cold fungus, which definitely delay your game but give you a little more points. So it's not a pure rush; it, it's more of a microbes and animals game. But anyway, that's it for my video. Um, yeah, I and I, I haven't played this map. It's not on Steam. Um, I did order it, so I'll, I'll get it in July. But it's this unlike the other ones, Tharsis Cells and Elysium, where my analysis was based on playing lots of games on Steam. This is just based on what I think uh, each award would be like, each master would be like. So take it more with a grain of salt and a little bit more than what I gave you for the previous ones. Uh, but yeah, that's it for my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. And yeah, see you next time.